My name is Giovanni Vigna and I am a professor in computer science at the University of California in Santa Barbara. UCSB ICTF, the International Capture the Flag competition, is a hacking competition that involves university uh, across the world. In, in this year's edition of the competition, there are 85 teams uh, and more than 1,100 students participating. The UCS UCSB International Capture the Flag uh, started in 2003. In 2004, it became international, and since then it has been growing and growing. So last year we had 70 teams, this year we have 85 teams, and who knows how many we will have next year. It has definitely have become the, lar the world's largest life security competition. Every team receives a virtualized server that we have prepared, we the organizers, and this server contains a number of vulnerable services that need to be exploited and patched. That means that each team has to look at their own services, understand where the vulnerabilities are, patch their own copy of the server, and use the same knowledge to compromise the services of the remaining teams. And when they compromise a service, they can steal a flag, that's why it's called capture the flag, and submit it to us as proof that they were able to compromise the security of those services. So the basic idea is that they acquire points this way and whoever has the most points wins. Uh, I teach a class called Advanced Topics in Security, CS279. It's a graduate class that teaches vulnerability analysis or in more layman terms, uh, hacking. These are uh, the graduate students in the computer security lab at UCSB and they help me organize and prepare the competition that we're running right now. Um, their tasks go to from preparing challenges and assignments for students to create the infrastructure to score people. We need much more uh, hands-on security education because it's a skill that is very, very sought after by both the industry and the academia. And therefore, events like this foster this type of education and encourage students to actually spend time in learning about practical security, developing their own tools and so forth. UCSB is one of the few places where this happens. Um, Hands-on security and uh, practical security classes that teach really how to analyze the vulnerability of software are not very common because they require a lot of energy to be set up. UCSB is very unique from this point of view.